My camera was already flashing red and I literally turned it on. So you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello welcome two of you guys have got me something from my amazon wish list which it made me really happy opening it it's actually this like listen to that like it made me so happy and it's lavender so me likey and it's got a charlie pink spray which made me they both made me really happy and you know i do this thing on twitter where i was like i'm post a link post your link let's buy each other gifts let's make each other a smile and all of that on the community tab on my channel and leave your link to your amazon list maybe check out some other lists my list is linked in the description down below it would be really cool to see what you guys have and i hope i can buy you all something little it really made my day today i'm sharing with you the story that led to my bipolar the type 1 diagnosis. Right, so my camera just died. Let's carry on where we left off and get on with it. This is about my first ever psychotic episode and it's intense, it's dark, it's damn right terrifying, but my purpose of sharing this is to show how real all this really is and just how complex the human mind actually is. I'm gonna stop talking about random shit because I've got it this, so let's do this. So let's dive on into my story. So the first thing that I did mention in the beginning is I'm diagnosed by polar type 1 along with other mental health issues. I have got other videos talking about that so feel free to go check out the playlist. When this happened I was undiagnosed, I was not on medication. This was, this is the thing that led to the admission that led to the bipolar diagnosis. So this is like before all the mental health diagnoses, this is before I knew what hallucinations were, this is before I knew what psychosis was. The first part of this is where I became really paranoid. The paranoia is what triggered absolutely everything after that. And what triggered the paranoia? Bullying. Childhood abuse. Just a few things. The first thing that I got paranoid about was that people were always watching me and I still have this anxiety now with people. I was so convinced that I just wouldn't talk at all. I would talk to my family. That was it. At school I just wouldn't talk. Never answered the register. This is like a gradual thing. It wasn't all at once. It was gradual over months and months and months it never just boom happened um the next thing that really happened was i started to get really convinced that my family mainly my mom was poisoning me and that was when it started to play into a delusion which is what led to the full-on psychotic episode so i got convinced that i was being poisoned because i had started to experience odd thoughts i guess you could say like what i now know as delusions i was starting to experience that but being how young i was i didn't know anything about mental health how would i know that it wasn't normal how did i know it's not what everyone thought um that went on for a bit and now we're sliding into the delusions where it gets quite sinister i'm not gonna lie it it, it does so the first real delusion was i thought that i was destined for hell i was 100 percent convinced that my mom was poisoning me so i would die and go to hell having that thought even for a minute even now terrifies me because no me and my mom do not get on nor have we ever got on but i'm pretty convinced she wouldn't sacrifice me to a death apparently look younger me didn't quite believe so you learn things right i thought that i was also being like targeted by other force like outside random forces a higher power i thought they was out to get me and i just became so overly paranoid and panicky about everything every little noise i would look over and find it kind of why i'm so jumpy now but then i was even worse this is where this story gets quite dark because i was so convinced that 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 me ending up in hell is what was gonna happen. I tried to offer sacrifice. I tried to offer blood of sacrifice. I literally slashed my own arms and it was not a great situation. So now we're gonna move on to hallucinations, which for me is what stabbed the final frail nail into everything and is what got me admitted to hospital. To this day, I am still terrified of this whole thing. I first began to see shadows moving when they shouldn't be, and I still experience this now, but I was basically convinced that I was already doomed and I was seeing people's auras and you can imagine what I was like. And I, I, it got the, I remember the night that like the hospital admission became, uh, it was when I ended up in any of this and uh, this is dark. The room turned like not red, it turned like a, a horror movie set sort of thing so like it felt like the air was really tight. It, it felt like, like there was stuff around you and then I started seeing these little black 
birds that turned into darts that were hitting me and I could physically feel being hit by these things and it literally ended with me self-harming I thought I was on fire and I thought I was being dragged to hell and I literally nearly drowned in a bath because I was so convinced I was set on fire here's a spoiler I wasn't on fire. That is the whole story. I know it's not too detailed. I think we can live without the graphic descriptions of things. This is what had me admitted to a CAMS unit and this is what had me diagnosed with bipolar type 1. How did you get diagnosed? When did that come about? That was the first ever mental health condition I was diagnosed with. And it also runs very strongly in my family. Escaping it in my family, like, mental illness just is a thing. Um. I do have a lot of stories like this that, to tell, they're, they're all slightly different, it's quite, some of them are hilarious, some are terrifying, I do have a lot of stories that I want to share but I thought, where do I start? The beginning, best place isn't it really? So do you have any experiences like this? Let me know in the comments down below, I, I'm really intrigued to find out and I'm also nosy so. But um, yeah, that's my, this is sort of what led to me being diagnosed bipolar. Get the nails. Oh, I'll just want it for me. Is he even screenshotting?